in this final slide deck, we're going to talk about some legacy issues. So a down-level server, what exactly is a down-level server? That is a server that is running an earlier version of a Windows server operating system. So you can manage down-level servers remotely after installing some of, the, uh, some of these updates. The .NET Framework 4.5 would be required, Windows Management Framework 4.0 for Windows, and Performance Update from Knowledge Base Article 268.2011 which is only required on Windows Server 2008 R2. Uh, so you can manage these older servers once you install these components, and then you'll be able to take your server manager interface and manage these remote servers. And by the way, 2008 also had a server core uh, version, although it didn't have as much functionality as 2012. Uh, so you may need to use these tools in 2012 to manage, say, a 2008 core uh, server. So some other tasks to get the most out of remote management in an older server, you're going to want to make sure that the WinRM service is running. Enable the Windows PowerShell remote management so you can use the PowerShell, for example. In a Windows Server 2012 server, you can perform all the remote management functions. Uh, on a Windows Server 2008 R2 server, you can run computer management snap-ins and PowerShell commandlets remotely. You can gather performance information, and you can restart the service. So you are a little bit limited. Although, to be fair, the uh, computer management snap-ins and PowerShell commandlets will let you run a lot of uh, uh, management functionality. So there's a lot of things you can do in 2008, even though it's a little bit limited here. Um, so definitely not as functional as managing a 2012, but there's still a lot of uh, features and functionality for managing a 2008 R2 server, for example. So you can manage these down-level servers. And by the way, uh, 2012, at the time I'm recording this video, uh, has already been superseded by 2016. So you may need to manage 2012 servers from 2016, in which case 2012 will be down-leveled. So that concludes all of the material for this unit. So some of the things we talked about was the need to add, uh, how you add roles and features in 2012. Um, how you can add and remove features to and from an offline VHD file, which is the... Uh, which is basically a VM file for uh, a Hyper-V uh, virtual machine for a Windows server, which you might use with Data Center, right? If you recall from back all the way in our first unit, we talked about Windows Data Center Edition, and you can run as many versions, you know, as many Windows servers within Data Center as you like. Um, and uh, you can configure those VMs uh, without having to turn them on. They can be offline. Uh, you can switch between these server modes easily. So you can switch between the GUI, the minimal server interface, and server core. So I showed you some of the ways that you can do that. You can add servers to the server manager to remotely manage those servers. So if you have minimal server or server core, you can remotely manage those from the one that runs the GUI, if you like. And I showed you some of the things that you'll need to do to do that with the firewall and so forth and the service that you have to run in the background. Uh, we also talked about um, how you can group servers in the server manager. So if you have a large enterprise, you'll have to use grouping to uh, keep things organized in the server manager. Uh, we talked about WinRM and some of the command line interface for performing some of these tasks that we talked about. We talked about having to configure the firewall in order to use the remote management. We talked about uh, the PowerShell, NIC teaming so that we can uh, get, increase our bandwidth or use load balancing and fault tolerance with our servers with multiple NICs. And we talked about how to manage our older operating systems from 2012. And that we may actually be the older operating system in 2012 if you have an environment running also 2016. So that concludes everything for this unit. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.